Drilling has been the principal strategy that Saudi Arabia has employed over the course of the past three decades in its search for a resource that is even more lucrative than oil. This search has been ongoing since the early 1980s. In order to cultivate cereal grains, fruits, and vegetables in desert areas, engineers and farmers have tapped into water sources that were previously unknown. In addition, scientists have found evidence that contradicts what we had previously believed to be true about the desert in Saudi Arabia so, if you want to know further, then watch the video till the end. But before starting, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And now, let's get started. Drain Dry When contemporary intensive farming was first implemented in Saudi Arabia, there was an astonishing amount of water beneath the desert, 120 cubic miles, 500 cubic kilometers, which is enough water to fill Lake Erie in the United States. This water was discovered when modern farming was first introduced. In the end, this water was removed and put to use in agricultural endeavors. On the other hand, in the most recent decades, a yearly quantity of water that is equivalent to up to 5 cubic miles, 21 cubic kilometers, has been pumped to the surface for use on farms. This water was extracted from deep within the earth, from aquifers. The amounts of rain that have fallen are so meager that they are not even capable of getting close to making up for the deficit in water that has developed. According to the extraction rates that were indicated in a research that was issued in 2004 by the School of Oriental and African Studies in London, the Saudis were on pace to use up at least 96 cubic miles, 400 cubic kilometers, of their aquifers by the year 2008. This was projected in the report that was published in 2004 by the School of Oriental and African Studies in London. The fact that the document was first distributed in 2004 served as the foundation for this forecast. A number of specialists in this field have arrived at the conclusion that around 80% of Saudi Arabia's fossil water supplies have been depleted. That means that in a little more than a generation's time, one of the greatest and oldest freshwater resources on the planet, which is also located in one of the hottest and most arid locations on the planet, has almost completely been depleted of its supply. This region is also one of the hottest and most dry regions on the globe. In addition to this, this resource may be found in an area that is consistently ranked among the driest and hottest regions on the entire planet. Farming the desert. Because there is very little to no rainfall, there are no rivers, lakes, or other sites that offer an abundance of naturally growing flora. This results in the absence of any naturally growing flora. As a direct consequence of this, none of the naturally occurring vegetation has survived. The Saudi population has been able to locate sufficient water to support their day-to-day -day activities throughout the course of many centuries. Initially, this was accomplished via the utilization of oasis, and later on, this was accomplished through the construction of desalination plants. In spite of this, the desert has been changed as a result of a national effort that began not too long ago. And as a direct result of this, there has been a significant increase in the demand for water resources. When certain regions are examined at a greater magnification, it becomes clear that there are in fact pockets of extremely dense vegetation that were not produced by nature. This becomes clear when a closer look is taken at various aspects of the situation. When observed from above, the landscape of Saudi Arabia appears to be peppered with patches of verdant vegetation, the majority of which are most likely irrigated agricultural fields. Large facilities that are used for the production of milk may be found in the area. These facilities house tens of thousands of cows at any given time. These creatures have exceptionally high requirements not only for water but also for a cold habitat to live in. The water that is utilized to produce these wonders in the desert is obtained from aquifers that were filled up thousands of years ago when the climate in Saudi Arabia was much wetter. This allowed for the aquifers to become a source of water for the desert. This makes it possible for the desert to be converted into a verdant oasis. These aquifers are typically located at depths that are quite a ways beneath the surface of the earth. As a direct consequence of the discovery of water in such an unexpected location, the nation was able to make significant strides toward realizing its long-standing objective of becoming self-sufficient in terms of the production of food. As a direct consequence of this, the nation will no longer be required to maintain its reliance on the delivery of food from other nations. Nevertheless, there is a time limit associated with this solution, 
and the point at which we will no longer have sufficient time to implement it is drawing closer and closer. Oil wealth. The Middle Eastern nation of Saudi Arabia is situated on both the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman, giving it a unique geographical profile. The high cost of pumping water to the surface so that it could be used for agricultural and cattle raising was paid for by the enormous amounts of oil that were produced, which led the globe in terms of production proportions. The oil was produced in such large quantities that they lead the world in that regard. Continued growth in revenue that can be attributable to increased oil production is expected to take place, at least for the foreseeable future. Wheat production, on the other hand, will only be allowed to continue for a maximum of a few more years at the most due to a law issued by the Saudi government and the rapidly depleting water supply. At the present day, a large portion of the enormous wealth of the nation is invested in the purchase of agricultural land and the cultivation of crops in other nations that have a greater variety of plant life. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.